After assembling your jacket structure, the next step is to run a basic stress analysis. If you want to run a basic stress analysis using Inventor, click on Environments, then click on Stress Analysis. Click on Create Study. You can name this as your Stress Analysis 1 or Jacket Structure Analysis 1. You, could, you can give, me, give it any name. Leave all the second settings as default and press OK. Ensure your design is your objective, a single point if you want to run a basic st stress analysis. Once you click on OK, your study will be created. Okay, and from this, click on plus sign. And you do not want your reference structure to be part of your study, so that as we have suppressed our reference structure in the assembly, it is not showing here. If it is showing here, in your case, you can just right click on it and you can exclude it from study if you want to. For the time being, I need my frame structure, I need my top plate structure. I do not need my reference structure. So I suppressed it in the assembly, that's why it did not appear here. In your case, if you have not suppressed it, maybe it will appear here. If it is appearing, you can exclude it from the study. Click on assigning the material. And as you can see, all the materials have been assigned already. So you just press OK. And click on specifying the constraints. You want the bottom part of the jacket structure to be fixed. So what you have to do, zoom in and select the face you want to fix. You can select multiple faces at a time. Make sure you are clicking on the face and not anywhere else. If you are clicking anywhere else and you are specifying other constraints, you must justify why you are doing that. Press OK. And you have fixed your jacket structure from the bottom. Now you want to specify the load. You can apply force or you can apply pressure or you can apply gravity. Okay. For the time being, I'm applying a point loading, which is the force. And I'm applying force on the top plate here. Okay. And according to my design specification, let's say if uh, the top on top of this top plate, I have 2.5 tons of the machinery, which would be around 25,000 approximately. That is not the exact figure for 2.5 tons. 2.5 tons will be around 2,500 kilograms. And if we have to convert from kilograms to newtons, it would be around 25,000 approximately. So that is the loading I'm going to apply on this jacket structure. Press OK. And yet now your loading has been applied. You want to specify the automatic contacts. It will detect all the contacts in your assembly. Press OK. And ensure that you have your contacts are there and they are without any warnings. So the contacts are there and they are bonded. Your load has been specified. You have specified the constraints. Now it's time to run the simulation. If you want to change the patch parameters, you want more refined results, you can do that from here. Okay. And you just need to click on simulate. Once you click on simulate, the next step is to run the analysis. So click on run the analysis. Once you click on running the analysis, your analysis will start loading. You need to give it a few minutes, approximately 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to finish the study. It will have to compute the mesh and then compute the results under 25,000 newtons of loading. As this is a very big jacket structure and we have specified our beams as tubes, it has to mesh inside and outside. It would take time. So give it 10, 15 minutes. It took me around 10 to 15 minutes to finish the analysis. Once the analysis is finished, you will see an exaggerated deformed structure. So you will have to change the adjusted to actual deformation. And now you will be able to view the deformation from the side and how much the deformation is. You can just zoom in to view 
how much the jacket structure has moved. So this is the distance the jacket structure has moved. In order to view the results, you can look at the contours, how the jacket structure is behaving under the influence of 25,000 newtons of force. So the stress which has been developed is 18 megapascals, one mice stress, and the displacement is your main concern as it is specified in the assignment specification that the amount of displacement which is allowed in your case. So in this case, the display jacket structure has displaced about 4 millimeters, 4.284 millimeters, and you want to reduce this deformation to 0 0.45. So you may have to strengthen the jacket structure to reduce the deformation. Okay. The maximum deformation is shown in the middle as the top plate is deforming, so you may have to strengthen the top plate only. So that's how you run a basic static analysis using Inventor. You can generate the report and of your analysis by clicking on report and that will be it. To view the results of the jacket structure, you can double click on the one my sister says the one my sister results will be appear. You, you can double click on safety factor, the safety factor results will be appear will appear. And you can double click on displacement to view the displacement results. You can even use the probe to find out where the maximum deformation is. Right now the deformation as this plate is 0 0.14. The deformation at this point is 4.085, the maximum is 4.284, which will be exactly in the middle where the load is being applied.